Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads again. This is kind of a follow-up video to the one I posted yesterday. Had a lot of confusion, had some emails this morning, so I thought I'd explain it. Basically, there are two types of chambers that we're dealing with. A convex chamber, be like a 13 degree, 10 degree, um, some of the very shallow valve angles. A concave chamber, which would be like a standard 23 degree Chevy, standard big block, 20 degree Ford. So let me show you the difference in the in the chambers real quick here. I got a, so this is just your typical 23 degree. So I lay my angle finder on it and see the big gap. I don't know if you can get to it. See the big gap in between there? Okay. Concave. This is a 13 degree profiler. See that? It's straight up from the deck. This is a 48 top 55 degree valve job. This is a 40 top 45 degree, but you can see when the, when the valve angle, when it comes off the top for the top cut, you can see to where it, it doesn't dip it. It basically follows it up to the concave. Okay. That's real important because this type of cylinder head, you're not gonna be able to get a convex. You're not gonna be able to fill all that in and make it like a 13 degree, and I'll show you why. Because the rule of thumb and the thing we need to worry about is what they call 0.25 LD, which is when the valve shrouding is equal to or greater than 0.25 at 0.25, okay? It's also known as a convergence point. So basically what you do is you take your valve size times 2.5 is 520. You need 520 thousandths between the valve and the chamber or that area will be smaller than the valve head. That will be your choke point. Okay, it's real critical. So that's why, like on a 23 degree Chevy, they're so steep, you're not gonna be able to get, you know, that's too far out. You're not gonna be able to get that area you're gonna to have to concave it like so to get to your area. That's why the, that's why all the cylinder heads seem to be are, are going to a convex style. So 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 basically convex would be like this off the seat and concave would be like this off the seat. Okay? Just like in my two examples here. So it, you if you put a 40 degree on this it's probably not even gonna to touch. So like I said, that transition, you want that transition up to the deck. Okay, and if you put, this is actually a 2200. If you put your 2200 in here and you raise it, you got the proper amount of distance. Now, can you put, can you put a convex chamber in a concave type head? Mm, no, not really. Unless you put it like a, unless your 208 right there is a 172. Smaller valve doesn't need as much area, obviously. So you gotta worry about that as well. But but that's the difference in the two. I had some people ask about, you know, that it's not possible to get to get the, to run all the way up to the deck. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I should have I should have explained that better yesterday. But um, um, that this is pretty much the the, the simple version of it. Uh, this this right here is your friend. You worry about that at the chamber and the valve, and you'll always never have. Uh, uh, I've seen a lot of heads come in here, guys, that, that don't have enough area, you know, because the chamber's not laid back or it's not dug out deep enough. And you can have too much. You don't, you don't need too much. All you're doing there is taking away CCs. So then you really got to mill it to get, to get a smaller chamber. So this area is really, really critical. So just uh, when you're designing a chamber, um, be, be, be conscious of this. And that's the difference between the two. You'll see online, guys, I talk about 0.25 LD. That's what we're referring to. Also, when you have a cylinder head, I've literally heard it, you know, you start flowing at 100. Sounds good. 200, 300, 400, 500. All of a sudden, it takes a weird sound. What's happening is that's your convergence point. The convergence point is basically when the, the, the cross section, the cross section of the valve head diameter is now smaller than than everything's cleared so now you're working off the port so normally when you have a cylinder head that stalls it's going to be right here at this convergence point 
when it transitions from working off the valve. So that's why you get a lot of guys, I get a lot of guys that say, I want your best CNC head. Well, how much you lift? 600 thousands. Well, it's kind of a waste of money, guys, because you're working off of that valve area under 600. So all of the things you're gonna gain up top, you're not even gonna utilize, you know? So, so you gotta be, you know, I, I, that's why, for instance, if you look at a lot of the factory LS stuff, they're they're done flowing at 650. Well, how much cam do they have in them? You know, so but I truly believe that if you got a if you got a flow curve that goes all the way to an inch, regardless if you're utilizing that inch of lift, it's going to make more power. It's going to make more power after peak. I've seen some engines. I've got an engine that peaks at 7400. Okay? Engine's got 870 lift in it. Okay? At 8,400, it's only down 27 horsepower. Now, it's a combination of things, don't get me wrong, but the cylinder head's a big part of it. That's what you want. That's why average power is always better than a peak power. I see that a lot. People would call me all the time on comparing my 23 degrees stuff to everybody else's. And everybody else is like, you know, what, how much power will it make? Well, an average build that you build in your garage will make 800 ha horsepower. Well, okay, well, this other heads will make 800 horsepower, but it uh, it's $1,000 less. Uh, well, guys, there's a big difference between making eight pa 800 horsepower at one number and making a whole list of 800s. That's the difference. That's the better cylinder head. That means that it's more stable. That means that uh, it keeps carrying flow. One more thing, and I'll uh, add this up. Wrap this up. CFM carries your power band. Velocity equals RAM, which is VE, which is horsepower. That's why in my opinion, velocity, 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 shape, shape, shape. This number right here carries everything. This number right here, right here is RAM, which is filling the cylinder, which depending on where your camshaft and how you fill it equals, I've seen plenty of times more than 100% VE. So, so there, so there, there's another good point. You have a formula that says uh, CFM, times 2.4 divided by that equals this. That's a 100% VE, guys. What do you do if you wanna make more power than that and you wanna make 2.5 horsepower per cubic inch? You can't use a VE of 100%. It needs to be more than that. It's a little off subject a little bit, but you get the point. So. Thanks for looking, appreciate it. Each and every one of you, if you guys have any questions, please post. Thank you, bye.